Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. So as we continue to speak to students and professors in the sport management program at Washington State University, we are going to be speaking to Olivia Bonson today. Olivia is from Linden, Washington and is going to be graduating this upcoming spring with a BA in sport management and a minor in communication. She is currently completing her final degree requirements through an internship with the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association. A fun fact about the WIAA, the organization's assistant executive director, Andy Barnes, is a WSU sport management alumni and is also a frequent guest speaker in sport management classes and career fairs. So Olivia, can you tell me a little bit about the WIAA as an organization and what your internship experience has been like there? So there are 12 different staff members that are responsible for administering association policies, rules, and regulations and providing other types of assistance to member schools. Um, my main job has been working at the office with the 12 different staff members. One thing that I've really enjoyed about working at the office is that everybody has a very different job and I've gotten to see a little bit about what each person does and their different responsibilities. So some of my major responsibilities so far have been um, attending Winter State Championship events and helping with coverage. So doing score reporting or um, helping cover things on social media. Um, my favorite so far has been attending state basketball. Um, I got to sit on like the media press row and do score reporting for the whole tournament. Um, so we were updating scores on Google Sheets, which posted to the website so people could do um, go on there and see live score reports after every quarter. And we're also tweeting the scores. So that's another way people can find out what's going on um, and taking photos there as well um, to help just cover the students and their accomplishments there. Um, so I've been to all the winter state championships that were able to happen. Um, another project that I've been working on is um, doing some research about a hypothetical new sportsmanship program that the association could implement. The program that they have right now is called Just Play Fair, um, is a little bit outdated and so they're kind of looking to um, revamp that. So I'm just trying to do some research about what other state associations are doing and um, come up with some new possibilities to reintroduce sportsmanship and kind of help change the culture around that um, in today's high school sports world. And um, kind of the last big thing that I've been helping out with is creating content for social media. Um, especially with everything right now, we don't have spring sports to promote at the moment. So um, just trying to come up with new and different ideas about fun things to get interaction on our social media platforms. So as the COVID-19 pandemic has emerged um, and affected um, life for everyone, how did that impact um, how you worked and what your transition of responsibilities um, as that kind of came about? Yeah, so this definitely had a big time effect, um, especially where we were at in the winter sports season. We, the association was really lucky compared to a lot of states because they were able to get all the way through basketball. So we had um, state cheer, state wrestling, state bowling, swim and dive, gymnastics, and we were able to have the basketball tournament, um, which a lot of um, states didn't get to have. So um, the last thing that has been postponed until May is state dance and drill, which was supposed to be the last state championship event that I was going to work at. And they kind of have, it's a, it's a really fun atmosphere and it's always a really great um, last state championship event from what I've heard. So I was a little bummed not to be able to do that, but obviously um, we're having to take precautions to help keep everyone safe and healthy. Um, so that was one thing that I kind of missed out on. And obviously I'm working remotely now um, as everyone's having to stay home. So luckily the last couple big projects um, that I talked about, the sportsmanship and 
helping with social media. Um, those are things that I can do from home. So I've been lucky in that I'm still able to complete my internship and get some hours that way. So how do you anticipate kind of this whole situation um, affecting your post-graduation plans? Yeah, so definitely graduating. Well, since we aren't really even having a graduation anymore, um, but still getting my diploma in May. Um, this is obviously kind of a scary time to be entering the sport industry as there's absolutely no sports happening right now and not going to be happening like in the short term that we can see. Um, so I don't really have a lot of confidence that I'm going to be able to find a job right away, um, right after May. So I'm going to keep looking, keep putting myself out there and do the best that I can. But um, kind of having to accept the fact that I may not get the sport job that I want right away after graduation with everything going on, because just because there might not be as many opportunities. Um, luckily, I feel like the sport management degree gives you a lot of different skills that you can use in lots of different ways and in a variety of different fields, not just sport. So that's one thing that I feel very grateful for, for this program. Um, but it's definitely a hard thing to try to think about in the short term, not getting that sport job that you may have wanted to apply for. They may not be accepting applications right now. So, yeah. Um, so what have you learned so far from the current situation that you think you could take with you um, in life and future career endeavors? Um, so kind of just having to take things one day at a time and just having to deal with things like that. This is a situation that nobody could have predicted. Um, it's something that you don't really have a risk management plan for is a global pandemic because you don't think that's ever going to happen in your lifetime. So just to always expect the unexpected and you just have to roll with it day by day and do the best that you can. And do you have any advice that you'd like to share with students who are currently part of the sport management program? I think one thing, I was listening to a podcast the other day and um, the thing that kind of hit me is that we have to think um, long term right now because short term obviously sports are kind of at a standstill um, but long term we have to think that they're going to come back. Sport has always been an industry that's always been able to come back from a lot of things. People um, always look to sport as something that inspires them as a form of entertainment. People are very passionate about it and I think that right now we kind of feel that we've all taken sport for granted. I know I feel that way. Um, and we're all missing it right now. So I think a lot of people are just excited for it to come back. And when it does, I think it's going to come back full force. So just having the mindset that we have to think long term, that we can still go into this profession and that there will still be opportunities in the future. We just have to keep working towards it. And yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Olivia, for joining us today. Um, we wish you the best um, with you. everything and all of your future endeavors. Um, so everyone, thank you for tuning in and we will be back soon with another episode. Thank you. Go Cougs. Go Cougs.